I did a bad thing. I broke a tap in a blind hole. Idiot! In this video, we're gonna remove that tap. Do not break a tap in a blind hole. It's gonna add a lot of time to the project. I've been making a bench vise. I don't have one and I need one, so I'm making one. Anyways, the front of that dynamic jaw that I'm working on has four holes on the front plate and that front plate gets bolted to the front of that dynamic jaw. Therefore, I have four holes that I gotta drill and tap for these M6 bolts that I'm using. Excuse me, I'm not metric. I'm English. I'm Imperial. These quarter inch by 20 socket head cap screws. Now I've put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this jaw as well as the other one. So I really don't want to start over. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm videotaping this so you guys can see how I fix this or find a solution to getting this tap out. It broke off at the very top of the threads, which means there's a lot of the tap to get out. I did a lot of research to try to figure out the best way to get a broken tap out of a blind hole so everybody was suggesting edm which i am not a big shop i'm not going to have the equipment to perform an edm so that's out of the question the second option that everybody said was to use a carbide tip bit of some sorts on a mill and drill down through that tap now the tap's going to be a hard material because it is hardened steel for the tap all taps are a drill bit's not going to work to try to go through the the bottom or the top of that tap you really need to have a hardened, further hardened uh, bit. I don't have a carbide bit. I don't have a mill. So that's not an option. Third option, which a lot of people suggested because this material is hardened, very brittle. So you can take a punch or something sharp uh, that's hardened as well and tap it out. Hopefully we'll be able to break it up little pieces at a time, extract those pieces and work our way down. Let's get to it. just nothing's breaking off it's just getting divots so that tells me the material's just not brittle enough in the portion that i'm working on let's try something different this isn't working option number two so i was watching some youtube videos and it looked like there was this youtuber he had a engine block that he was trying to get a, a broken tap out of and he ended up using a very small diamond coated hole saw to remove the tap out of the blind hole so i went to harbor freight and i got this bad boy a bauer hole saw it's going to be a 316 so just undersized from our tap uh, so hopefully we don't screw the hole up too much and we can still use it because i still need to get a bolt in that hole i need some water to keep this cool as i'm using it it sounds like this is going to be a long process as well based off of the video i watched i'll put a link to that video in the description so you can watch him try to remove his tap we'll see if this works let's go Okay, the hole saw is working. It's just really slow. I've been doing this for 45 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, somewhere around there, and I've only gotten that deep right here. I gotta go all the way to this blue mark here, uh, which is gonna take, my goodness, a couple of hours to get that far. The other thing that was happening with uh, the diamond hole saw is it was wanting to shift into the 
the side plate. So it was like the tap was kind of pushing it off into uh, the left side here. So you saw me kind of angling the, the drill a lot. Uh, it was to try to go back the other way. And it looked like it was still veering that way, uh, which is not what I want in this hole. Let's go ahead and look at a third option. So I have here a diamond burr grinding utensil that I got to put in a Dremel. So I'll put it in a Dremel and I'll try to just go down and eat it. It is used around kind of the edge of it, but the end of it looks like it has a lot of nice diamonds still left. And so I think we can try to attempt that. Again, this option is going to take a lot of time. So let's go. So that was working quite well. Uh, it was kind of clearing it out and I could control it a little bit more. And it's taking quite a bit of material off with that high RPM that we can get with the rotary tool. Uh, it's not a Dremel, hyper tough. Good old Walmart. So it's working good. The problem is I ate through this bit in no time flat. I don't have any more of these and it, it took that off in about a minute. I, I may have let it get a little hot. I didn't dip it in the water more frequently than I did the drill and this is a lot quicker. So I think what I did was probably burn off the adhesion of those diamonds on the end of this uh, diamond burr. So this is no longer an option. I'm tired of dealing with this, tired of messing around. Strike number three. You're out of there. Well, I wish it was out of there. I spent a ton of time working on this, trying to remove this tap. Nothing's working, everything's taking forever. Maybe I'm just not patient enough, but I'm gonna cut it out. So. The side of this jaw right here is half inch plate. I have that number seven drill bit drilled in the center of that plate. And so I think at this point, I gotta bite the bullet. It might be quicker than any other options. Given our outcomes, we are going to cut out the tap using an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel, not a flap disc. So I'm gonna get this flap disc changed out to a cutoff wheel and we're gonna go through and cut the side of this out to extract or remove that broken tap. Outstanding. Even though this solution was pretty invasive to the part itself, it was a really good option to cut it out and weld it up. So hopefully this is helpful for anybody trying to remove a tap. I would start with the chisel and see if that's going to work. A bigger hole might be a little bit easier for that, but uh, situational dependent. After trying to knock it out, if that doesn't work, I would do my best at thinking through how we could cut up whatever part you may be working on to get access to that broken tap inside and remove it and then just weld it up. If you have an aluminum part, don't do anything I just did. Go get some alum, which is at the grocery store. It's crazy. As you can put alum down in the hole uh, and dissolve, essentially dissolve that tap and it will not affect the aluminum. Again, quarter 20 threads tap. The best way for this project to get it out 
was to just cut her out. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button down at the bottom. It helps push this video out to more people who may need to see it. And uh, leave a comment if you have any suggestions or any other possible solutions for a small shop like this to remove a tap. Thanks for watching. See you next time.